This is the petrol tank off the 1925 James that we've had here for some time. And I confess, it's something that I had avoided fixing. It had been absolutely abused in the past. Um, it had massive dents in here on both sides where the handlebars had come around and banged into it. And they'd just been bogged up. And uh, if you look here, you'll see the remnants of the brass. This is what they had as a uh, filler cap and that was brazed in there with nearly half an inch of, of brass. And it was sat up, and when, when they'd actually brazed that in, it had sunk this whole area in here. And um, so I've spent quite a bit of time. There's uh, two baffles in the uh, petrol tank. This is the second one. The first one sits just there. So we've actually soldered that back in yesterday, having been happy with all of this area. This one actually sits just back about, about there. But before I can put that in, we have to solve the issue of this. And this is what I've done to do that. I actually turned that up on the lathe. And if I get that up in there, you'll see that I've got a lip on the bottom and I've got a lip that actually fits in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tin this surface here and then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this excess brass off. Uh, I need to be very careful not to get too far into the metal. And then this has still got a slight low area. So what I'm going to do is put that in there and just jack that up a little bit and then I'll tin that and hopefully that will give a little bit more support to this area here. And I can beat that up a little bit I won't get it absolutely perfect, but I can tell you right now with the half inch of brass there, there was also a half inch of bog and some fiberglass put into all of this. So we'll then put the baffle in. After the baffle goes in, this actually comes down. I'll change the hands. This actually comes down like that. And there's two corner pieces that get soldered into there. And this piece, is the end piece and that gets soldered onto the end there so you can see we've cleaned out you can actually see that baffle up in there we've cleaned the whole tank out it was chock-a-block full of rubbish and if i turn the front around you can see the work we've done on the front so all of this was dented this was dented this was dented so i've actually fully removed um, one of these pieces, the other one I removed back to halfway and beat it out. I beat this and I beat this and we put it all back together. I'll put some photos up of the um, pieces as they were. So now all we need to do is just work our way backwards, fix this first, put the uh, baffle back into place. We're actually going to um, spot a piece of wire on these pieces They've already been tinned. We'll tin the inside of here again, and then we'll actually pull it up and then just solder those into place, pull those back, but not before this is pulled down. So we'll actually have these sitting in there on both sides with wires hanging out. Um, as we, after we've soldered that up, pull them back into place and do the final thing. Then we'll pressure test it. We've already pressure tested the front tank. Um, and if I turn the tank over, you can see the spots where these were all rust pit holes that we've filled, cleaned and filled on the way. So this has been pressure tested. Then we'll pressure test the back section. And after that, we can actually, we'll put some uh, metal ready on it and just get rid of any of this surface rust. That's from us handling it, the oil and, and moisture in our fingers. Um, we'll then actually um, prime it. Obviously, we'll have to put some nicky on it, but no, we're not, nothing like what the, the rubbish that was on it before. So, um, as I said, it took a little bit of um, time to decide to actually tackle the tank. I was avoiding it, but now that we've tackled it, I'm very happy with how far we've got with it.